Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's upload is meant to be my weekly weigh-in update. But I'm just, I'm not feeling doing my regular weekly weigh-in update this week. I'm just not in the right headspace, I don't think. I thought I wasn't going to do a video this week. Well, I actually can. I'm working today. Today's Saturday and I'm working tomorrow all day so I've not got a chance to record it. I was thinking I'll need to get it done on Monday or Tuesday. So I set my alarm a little bit earlier this morning to get up and record something but I'm just not feeling doing my regular sitting at the end of my bed and talking about my wee and update and all that like we all know what's happening at the minute and things are just got so crazy in the past week. I mean they were getting crazy when I uploaded my video last week but this week has just got 10 times worse, or 100 times worse. Even last night was Friday night and they announced that all pubs, restaurants, cafes, gyms, cinemas and everything are closing, which now means that my three younger brothers are out of work. They're not out of work, they're just not working at the minute. They will be getting paid, even if it's a reduced pay, because, you know, things are still up in the air at the minute. They'll be getting some sort of pay for the foreseeable future, but how long that's going to last and how long the places that they work are going to be shut is, you know, everything's up in the air. Nobody can put a timeline on this thing. I think they're saying uh, roughly 12 weeks. So at the minute, I've got my brothers out of work. All the kids are off school. I'm sure everybody else is the same. I was going to say in the UK, but I think in America, the, kid, the schools are shut and no, get down. The schools are shut, I think, in Italy, and Australia, I don't know if in Australia or anything, but, I mean, this is a pretty worldwide pandemic, isn't it? So, schools are shut. Ali's school, on Wednesday, when the news was released, like an hour after the news was released that the schools were going to shut on Friday, I got an email from Ali's school saying the S1 to S3, Ali's S1, were... That was them. They didn't have to come back after Wednesday. So Ali's been off since Wednesday. Obviously he's been celebrating. He's been loving life. He came home on Wednesday after school and he said to his bed, I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time in you. And I was just like, mm -mm, that's not happening, mister. I've gave him this few days, the Wednesday and Thursday. I thought I'll give him the long weekend to, you know, do what he wants, play on the Xbox if he wants sleep as much as he wants or that but by Monday we're going to knuckle down with some homeschooling type things I mean I'm not teaching them anything but I've got some ideas and I'm, I may make a video about that because I think I don't want to say I want to give people ideas or anything I just want to you know I just maybe want to make videos just to keep people entertained who are actually isolating and that I'm not isolating Ali wanted to go outside and play yesterday and I told him no He's staying in the house. I will still try as much as we can before, you know, there's a big lockdown or something. Go for a walk, take the dogs out a walk and all that. But I'm not having um, what's it, you know, hanging out with his friends. It's actually surprising me how many people are still letting their kids out to play and hang out with their friends, considering what's going on. It's like nobody actually is taking this very seriously. I mean, I wasn't taking it too seriously this time last week, but in the last week things have changed so fast and so quickly that I am taking it seriously now. And I am only leaving the house to go to work or the shops. To go to work is another thing. I don't know how I managed not to tell you guys, but I did realise that I haven't told you guys that I switched jobs. I switched jobs a few weeks ago because the job that I was doing, which was in the Nissan showroom, I was a showroom host, the girl actually came back from her maternity leave. It was just a maternity leave cover. And it kind of dragged on a bit longer than I expected it because she was coming back and then she wasn't coming back. And then I think there was discussions between her and the bosses about reduced hours or I don't know reduced hours or something so that finished and I got a new job and my new job is actually in retail it's it's called a retail merchandiser and I'm not based in just one specific store 
we work with, the company that I work with, works with Morrison's, Asda, Sainsbury's, Poundland, um, Holland and Barra, the, quite a few retail cust uh, customers. And so we go in, one of the main jobs that I do have is, which is fixed hours, is working for Nutmeg at Morrison's. That's fixed hours. I think I have two days there every week. And that, you know, not make, they're not make clothing in that, which is brilliant. I also do cosmetics for Poundland. Although, in yesterday, Poundland told us that our services were no longer required. But because I still have the other hours, and other hours are becoming available because of what's going on in the supermarkets, I'm not too concerned about that at the minute. Yeah, so I go to various different stores and... I work for a few hours. They're not very long shifts. I can get a few stores done in one day. I'm sorry if I keep shaking the camera. I'll, I'll go. I'll maybe go into that at a later date. But for the purposes of this video, I switch jobs. I am glad that I'm. I switch jobs and I'm now working in retail, which is you know one of the places where people are needed at the minute, as well as you know the NHS and care workers and everything. The supermarkets are needing people at the minute. So today I'm working in Morrison's and tomorrow I'm working in another Sunday when you guys are watching this. I'm working in another Morrison's, like just offering support in store instead of doing what my regular job is because nobody's wanting clothing at the minute, obviously. So instead of doing my clothing and that, I'm helping out. I think I'm helping out doing online orders tomorrow, actually, today when you guys are watching this. So at the minute, I'm thankful that I still have a job. And I have somewhere to go to and I can, you know, lend my support somewhere in this time of need because I'm still fit and healthy for the most part. And I just want to be helping where I can and when I can. I'm not going near my granny, obviously, or my mum or my stepmom, both who have COPD. I'm trying to stay away from anybody base. I am doing this social distancing except for the times where I'll be in a, in a store working. I also thought of volunteering at a local nursing home or something like that just to help the guys out but that scares me. It scares me that if I'm you know well I'm in the supermarkets and that and I'm around a lot of people a lot of people because the supermarkets are crazy at the minute. It worries me if I picked up the virus there and then passed it on to someone that was elderly or that, I can't, that worries me. So it's something that I'm keeping in mind for a future date or something. Maybe I will pick up the virus, I'll have to go into self-isolation. And when I have been self-isolating, I will start volunteering maybe. Depends on how desperate times get in that. It depends how things go. I can't, we can't plan anything, obviously, at the minute. Oh, it's, it's just... Crazy times, guys. It's I don't even know <laughs> what to say. I've just uh no, this is my weekly weighing update and I've just literally updated you with the C word. But getting back to the subject in hand, or that we're I'm meant to be here for. <laughs> um oh my tummy's rumbling. I hope you can of hear that. I hope the camera's not picking that up. I managed to stick to plan all week because I was one of the lucky ones, I did mention this in last week's video, I got my shopping on March the 9th. And I only remember that because it was exactly a week from the day, my mum's birthday. Um, I got my shopping, my monthly shop, on March the 9th. So I've, I think I have quite a lot in the house. I managed to get it before the craziness by the end of that week hit the shops and people weren't able to get anything. I was very very lucky in my time and like and it wasn't even purpose and I did record that shopping haul and everything but and I was going to upload it yesterday so Friday but just I just thought it was so it was so insensitive a video to upload because it was shopping that I'd got before all the craziness hit for la the last couple of weeks and I just thought it maybe sounded like I was bragging like oh look at all the stuff that I got so I didn't upload the monthly shopping video and I would like you guys to know if you want to see that if you don't I understand because you know these are shit times 
but then other people just might want to see it because it might be just, you know, a throwback. It's a throwback from when times were good and we were able to go to the shops and, you know, that was even two weeks ago I got that shop in and times are so different now. Shelves are so empty now. Like, even when you go in in the mornings and that, I was at Morrison's, I was in Morrison working on Thursday and... I think I started at 10 and they opened at 9 o'clock for the general public because I think they were open for an hour for the elderly and them before that. 9 o'clock for the public. So they had the night shift had been in all night and the fresh guys were getting most of their stuff out. And the shelves were just still empty. There was still no pasta. There was still no rice. There was bread for a couple of hours, if that. I understand why people are panic buying. I understand why the shops are busy in that now because you have to go and try and get what you can because who knows what the next few months are going to be like. I did go to the shops on... When the day the schools were announced that they were closing, I did go to Tesco with my brother. Actually, we went to Little and Tesco because Ali gets lunch at school or... You know, he gets money for lunch at school and I had nothing in the house that was that's going to do him for the next month or so for lunches while he's been stuck in the house. I really only had stuff for like a Friday after school and weekends. So I went out to get some lunch stuff and I was running out of rice. Like I had about one meal's worth of rice left so I was wanting to try and get some rice. Littles was... Really bad actually. Littles was terrible. Um and it was at night time that we went, so it was after a most day after the stores had been opened all day, so we our timing wasn't great. And then we went into Tesco and I ended up spending over a hundred pounds in Tesco just just kind of for lunchy stuff for Ali and it was like ridiculous because I was having to take all the expensive brand named stuff that I wouldn't normally buy. I would normally buy cheaper versions or something that was on offer but I was just having to take what I could that was going to be enough to feed Ali for the next couple of weeks while well, he's not at school. He's obviously going to be off school for a lot longer but I hadn't been prepared for that when I'd done my monthly shop a couple of weeks ago. Uh, over a hundred pound just on I'm trying to think what I got. I couldn't even get pot noodles or I got some sort of super noodle things for him. Um, what else did I get? Or what did I not get? Tins of soup. Couldn't get... Well, there was tins of soup, but it wasn't like flavours that Ali would enjoy. Like, you couldn't just get tomato soup or chicken soup and things like that. It was just the weirdest combination flavour type soups. And obviously no beans... I did manage to get a bag of dried couscous that actually somebody had, it wasn't even on the couscous shelf, it was on like, you know, the dog food shelf or something, I can't remember where, but it was somewhere completely random and I seen it and I picked it up because Ali loves couscous, so that'll keep on in a few meals. I got like, you couldn't get big packs of sausage rolls, the eight packs, but there was some of the smaller packs of sausage rolls, so I've got a couple of them for um, many, there was no quiches. And again, I found these in a random chiller that they weren't where they were supposed to be, but it just, you know, individual quiches, small ones. Anyway, all I'm saying is, for the minute, for the next few weeks anyway, I have enough food in the house. For Ali anyway. I know I have enough meals for me, like dinner meals. I'm not sure about lunches. I think I'll get through at least the next week. Lunches and stuff. I couldn't get really much fruit or veg but I do have some bags of frozen veg that I managed to get, a eh, frozen fruit that I managed to get so I'll just eat some of them. I am trying to stay on plan. I know a lot of people in the last couple of days have fell off plan because of the announcement of the groups closing and stuff so they've just been so stressed out or so worried or they've just not been able to get the food that they need, like the pasta and the rice and stuff, that they're just, they're, they're just, you know, let's just go on with it, just, let's just eat whatever we can eat, whatever we can get. But I am trying to stay on plan. It hasn't been easy these last few days. I've been a little bit stressed, especially last night when 
I realised that all my brothers were potentially out of work or going to be out of work, depends on how long this lasts. That was quite, that's quite stress. And not even just my brothers, I've got three nieces now who are out of work because two of them were attached in a nursery. They worked in a nursery attached to a gym. Now they're out of work because the gyms are all closing. And my other niece was uh, works in the hospitality as well, so she's now out of work. I do know they're all getting paid at the minute, but it's it's just the worry of how long is it going to last. So when I stepped on the scale this morning, I found that I'd lost three pounds, so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I've really done enough to lose three pounds this week, to be honest with you, but I think maybe a lot of the week that I gained last week was water retention, time of the month. Um, so I've lost three pounds and I think I'm one and a half pounds away from getting back to where I was before my little blip a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to keep plodding on and trying to stick to plan, hard as it may be, because I just need something that's going to occupy my brain and not have me focused on the, the C word. Like at Christmas and a couple of weeks ago when I fell off plan, I was just like, you know, it's actually nice not to have to think about slim and world. Like, my brain's always, like, in motion, thinking about meals, sins, have I had my healthy extra A, have I had my healthy extra B, things like that. Like, my brain is always in slim and world mode. And it was nice when I was off plan not to have to think about it, but now that we've got this thing and we potentially may all be stuck in our houses for some time, it's nice to have that to focus on. It is. And, you know, I'm still recording my meals of the week. I still will upload them. But they may get more and more interesting as, you know, I run out of food. I'm unable to get more food. They may get more and more interesting. People are talking about rationing and, I'm, and it's actually, like, worst case scenario in my head is that, the, that we're just going to run out of food. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and not be able to get much of anything else. So I'm not stockpiling food, by the way. I just have, like, I am just buying stuff for Ali's lunches and stuff. And I'm not overbuying things like toilet roll and that. I did pick up a toilet roll from my local shop the other day. Um, because we, we had, like, two rolls left. So we need toilet roll. You need to take a roll. I could have bought more than one packet because he's not got he didn't he does now when i was in yesterday has a limit on things now but the other day when i was buying my toilet roll he didn't have a limit on anything you could i was like how many can you buy he was like however many you want i was like i'm just taking one because that's just there's no need to buy more than one i'm blethering and i keep losing my train of thought but what else was i want to say oh for meat deliveries and stuff guys try muscle foods if you've ever heard that I got muscle food quite a few times a few years ago and that. I haven't had any, I think it was 2018 my last delivery was, but they're still doing deliveries. I put in an order, but I can't get it delivered till April. It's the 8th of April or something, but by that time, by that time I will have run out of what meat I have. So check out muscle food because they actually do really good deals on meat hampers and that and the quality, as far as I can remember, I really liked their chicken breasts, actually. I thought their chicken breasts were great. Two chicken breasts was too much for me and Ali. It was just enough if it was the three of us, but they're nice, big, tasty chicken breasts. And they do lean meat as well, so they're good for Slimming World. And maybe some of their stuff might have, like, a small amount of sins, but when you can't get your five percent fat mince or your chicken or anything just have a look on muscle food and sort yourself out with some meat it's just getting all the rest of the stuff to go with the meat that's the issue and i actually seen on facebook this won't help any guys that aren't in my area but there will be something hopefully like this in your area is like a local produce shop, you know these, I think in Fife there's one called Bernati, Bernati Fruits or something, or Bernati Fruit and Veg or something, they do like deliver, they deliver to your home, there's one in McMerry that I've seen advertised 
local to me on Facebook and they're doing like produce boxes. It's not just, um, they do eggs. They said on this morning, just this morning, I was reading it before us. Before I started this video, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought, that they also have plenty of bread, pasta and eggs and sugar and things like that in stock as well. So it's worth checking out local places like that. I don't know what they're called, like fruit and veg produce sellers things. I will try and find links for Bernati Fruits if you're in Fife. I think they just deliver in and around Fife. And the other one, I can't, I don't know what the name is. I've actually not heard the name before, but I will try and find links and put them in the description below. So if they're going to help anybody out, you can have a look at them. I'll put links for Muscle Food and everything down, but it won't. I'll just put the web address. I'm not putting affiliate links. Like I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just trying to help out some people with some suggestions that are struggling and it's things that I've found and things that people have suggested to me. I've seen these, the muscle food thing was something that I've seen online. So my, my delivery for them is not till, I think it's the 8th of April, which is a couple of weeks away. But you know, never know what's going to happen in that time. That the orders could still be cancelled. Excuse me. My bum's getting numb. Um, yeah, my order could still be cancelled. Sorry, I'm having to switch sides because my arm has also got pins and because my arm also got pins and needles on it. So I, I literally can't remember anything that I've said for the last however long I've been talking. I spoke a lot about the C word and the virus and what's going on. I don't mean to bring anybody down. I hope. I hope I've not been coming across as too negative because, I mean, I'm not feeling too bad about it. I'm just a little bit worried, you know, for my brothers and their families because two, two of my brothers especially have large families. One has five kids and one has seven. And also one on the way, which is, I was saving telling you guys that until for a little while because um well obviously I was waiting for them to get past their 12 weeks and that but we actually found out on Christmas day that they were expecting when we found out on Christmas day they didn't announce it to us on Christmas day we just knew because Lizelle wasn't drinking alcohol and Lizelle only never drinks on Christmas day or New Year's day when she's pregnant and we, we're well versed in this now guys this is baby number eight so we we were we knew what was happening and she was still trying to deny it she was like god i'm just no feeling like drinking can i no just have no have a drink we're like no we know we're pregnant so on boxing day she was like okay i'm pregnant <laughs> um we knew it wasn't a surprise to anybody by then she was only four or five weeks so obviously i wasn't going to tell anybody then but my brother asked me in january he asked me if we could do, if I could do a gender reveal for them, which they haven't found out yet. I don't know if it'll still be going ahead because of what's happening now. Um, and to make a video about it and everything. So I was going to have that, that would be me telling you guys that they were expecting. I mean, it's not like I'm expecting a baby, but that was a little video that was going to be planned for their gender reveal in the future. Yes, yeah, so they're ha they've got another baby on the way and he's now, you know, still getting paid, sorry. I don't know, I don't know if they're getting a reduced pay or anything. They, they don't know what's happening yet with things with regards to that. I mean, I'm not trying to come across as negative. I'm worried about things like that. I'm worried about the, the boys and their families getting enough food and having enough food with things that are going on, the panic buying and stuff. I don't, I genuinely do not think at this time, this moment in time, especially this past week, I do not think people have been what's it, hoarding a lot of stuff. Um, the supermarkets have put restrictions on things because people were hoarding things and buying in bulk. But in this past week, I don't think anybody has been doing that. The volume in the supermarket speaks for itself. People are just out there getting what they can and they're taking very little like i haven't i haven't seen in the morrison stores that i've been in i haven't seen anybody buying ridiculous amounts of things it might be different i might be wrong obviously but 
I think it's just the volume of people coming into the supermarkets now that's just clearing the shelves. Even if they get meat, the meat's gone within like a couple of hours, the bread's gone within a couple of hours. And I do feel really bad for those people that have like um, gluten intolerances or allergies. Like because everybody's bought the gluten free pasta because they're not able to get the other pa the regular pasta. But I do feel bad for them in that. But I also understand that people have got to feed their families. They're worried about how they're feeding their families. So they're just taking what they can because there's not a lot of choice that's really left for a lot of people and some people aren't even able to get baby milk it's it's ridiculous that's i don't understand why people aren't able to get people just have hoarded baby milk or something i don't understand that or people i don't understand the baby milk thing are people buying baby milk as a replacement for milk just in case they run out of milk actually milk's something that hasn't been in shortage anywhere local to me milk has always been pretty available i do plan on doing some more day in the life type videos not for the sake of me pushing out videos or anything like that more just for the sake of people in their houses need things to watch and i need stuff to watch so if you guys make videos i'll be watching them in between all the work and the homeschool and things that are going on here. YouTube seems to have been really quiet lately. Not that I have been able to watch much on YouTube at all actually, but I've just noticed that, you know, all these, especially the American ones, these American ones have been self-isolating and you can see on their Instagrams and all that, they're self-isolating and that, so why aren't they making more videos to entertain all the other people that are isolating or in quarantine or anything I don't understand and they haven't been making more videos any more videos than usual but they have a lot more time on their hands they could just make day in the life videos to you know entertain people which is what I plan on doing I don't know if they'll, they'll, they won't be very interesting they won't be very entertaining we will be at home because apart from work I'm not leaving the house but I am working obviously more than usual more than I would normally work. I just feel that, I, I don't know how to explain it, like not that my, I have a huge subscriber count and not that I have the most entertaining videos or anything, I just feel like at least it's something for people to go and watch or you know if you like to watch people see what people are doing in their house during this time. It's also nice to see how other people are reacting during this time. Oh, I've just blethered so much rubbish. I know I have, but let's um, let's leave it on a positive because I do think I'm coming across as negative. That's just tiredness and some stress and worry, but I'm not very negative. I am trying to do what I can with the supermarket situation especially because they're getting hit. Everybody's putting up things on Facebook, sharing things about how great the NHS are and uh, if you know a nurse, let them know you appreciate them, blah, blah, blah. A hundred percent agree with all that, but people are just forgetting the supermarket workers, the checkout employees and things like that. Like, and I don't mean me, I mean the people that are the full timers that are in there all the time, dealing with crap, dealing with customers, kicking off because of there's no food on the shelves and there's nothing they can do about it in the supermarket but they still take the brunt of everybody's the panic and their despair and their anger because of the situation the supermarket workers are always undervalued workers by the way they're just as essential to this crisis that we're in at the minute as a nurse or a doctor they obviously can't cure the illness that's going about but without them we would have no food if the supermarkets close we'll have no food we'll definitely be on the brink of despair if that happens so if you know a supermarket worker in your life just go and show them some love and appreciate them share something on facebook to show you that you appreciate them because that's the way things are done these days let's leave it on a positive i'll show you my kittens look at this little boy he's so big Oh my god, he's so look how big he's got. He is so much bigger than Nala. And there she is, all curled up in a little ball. 
But this is my life. When I'm in bed, they're in my bed with me. They're just so precious. I mean, they've actually calmed down in the la a lot in the last few weeks. They had me <laughs> pulling my hair out a few weeks ago, but in the last like week or so, they seem to have calmed down a lot. I don't know if it's because there's been somebody at home quite a bit, and Mark's been here quite a bit. There just always seems to be someone... Oh, my nose has been all funny. There just always seems to be somebody in the house at the minute. So I think they're just happier when there's always someone about. I'm actually surprised I managed to do this whole video without getting disturbed by them. Because they're out for the count. Oh, it's just so precious. Oh, I think I'm disturbing them. So I'm going to leave it there. <sighs> A big, after that big long rambly video, I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me know how this whole virus epidemic, whatever's going on, is affecting you guys. I hope you're all able to get food and you're okay for supplies. Another link that I'm going to leave down below is for thepoundshop.com because I saw in there last night that they still have hand wash and they still have some toilet roll and you know some essential things and food cupboard not food cupboard staples I wouldn't say but you know there's there's stuff on there that you can get that you can't get in the supermarkets so I will leave that linked below as well just as another thing place to look you can't get deliveries for 10 days though that's the thing deliveries are just not coming as quick as we need them at the minute and I will put my meals of the week up tomorrow and you'll get a day in the life vlog at some point this week hopefully it'll entertain you <laughs> or keep you amused for half an hour or something I better go and get ready for work <sighs> wish me luck it's Saturday they are gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy but take care everyone I really do hope nobody's tested positive so far for this virus and if you are one of those people that are at risk like my mom and my stepmom and my granny please just be safe be safe stay indoors get family members and things and that to help you bring things to your house you know shopping and that just be safe make sure you're safe and make sure your families are safe and just remember this thing is not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. We don't know how long it's going to last, but it won't be forever. And the positive that I'm kind of grabbing on in this situation is that it could be worse. It could be so much worse than it is. Despite all the worries and stresses that we do have, it could be 10 times worse. It could be the plague, for instance. Like, I mean, that's a bit ridiculous I know it sounds ridiculous but when I'm in I do I do suffer from anxiety and when I'm one of the coping mechan mechanisms that I've learned to do is it could be worse like oh this has happened but it could be worse because this is what could so that's what I do to make myself feel better about situations so yes we're in the middle of this everything's going crazy it's probably the worst times of our lives but it could be worse because it could be the plague. Can you imagine if it's the plague that we're all trying to hide from? Or it could be worse. We could, it could be war. It could be war. We could be having to stay in our houses and there's food shortages. We could be rationing. We could be getting bombed out. That's one of my anxiety coping mechanisms. That's what keeps me going. Things like that keep me going is thinking it could be so much worse. And it still might get a little bit worse before it gets better, but it's not going to be forever. And I hope that makes sense. And I hope that didn't make me sound super, super weird. It's just, it's just one of my coping mechanisms. Like I said, take care, everyone. Be safe. Look after yourselves. I hope nobody's in complete despair. If you are, reach out, reach out to someone. Reach out to me. I'm, I'll be able to talk a lot of crap to you, but I'll, I might not be able to help you properly. But just reach out to anyone. Like, just feel free to reach out if you are one of those people that are in despair because I would rather somebody reached out to someone, me or anyone, just reach out to someone because it's better to not feel alone, isn't it? Especially at this time, it's 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 just better not to feel alone. But I'm going to go for now because I really need to get ready for work and 
I hope everyone is fine. I do hope you're all fine. And I will be back really soon uploading more videos, trying to keep you all entertained or something. Just keeping you amused, laughing at me. Even if you're laughing at me or laughing with me, I don't care. But I will see you tomorrow for the meals of the week. Bye!